what am I telling you? That despite our country's limited resources, Filipinos can indeed compete globally, given the proper training, support, and exposure. My winning at the international scene may not necessarily reflect the quality of education in our country. But with our concerted efforts, my dear fellow men, we can move this country forward and show the world that we can be a globally competitive race. When I went back home here in Iloilo after that competition, Pisay Western Visayas gave me a very warm welcome. We had a program, and in that program, teachers and students expressed how proud they were of me. When it was my turn to speak, I told them, I am very proud of you too, because it is you who has placed me where I am now. Our experiences together in this school has brought attention to the world that, hey, there's a world-class school out there in Iloilo, a school with world-class teachers and students. I told the teachers that being world-class doesn't mean going out international and showing our best out there. Being world-class is passion and commitment to our profession. Being world-class is giving our best. And for us teachers, being world-class starts right inside the classroom. Dear graduates, being world-class starts from within you. At times, you may ask yourself, will my efforts make a difference? The illnesses confronting our nation are so deadly. Corruption, violence, drugs, environmental collapse, poor education system, economic decline, massive poverty and diseases among others. We are also one of the most vulnerable countries in terms of natural disasters. And a bit recently, the COVID pandemic tried to immobilize us. After winning in that international teaching competition, I have received immediately 13 offers to stay put and work there in the U.S. and even other parts of the world. But I decided to go back and continue to teach in the Philippines. I opted to return and teach in our country even if it may not seem financially rewarding for two main reasons, only two reasons. First, I believe that I am making a difference in the lives of the Filipino children and the larger community. During the panel interview in the U.S., one judge asked me, you have a PhD in biology. Why do you teach in high school? I simply said, I want to teach Filipino children. I decided to stay in our country because opening the minds of Filipino children and touching their hearts give me joy and contentment which money could not buy. Gin pamangkot pagada ako sang isa ka judge pilang sweldo ko sang 2000 to nga tuti tama git ka nubo eh. So when I told them na I'm earning less than $300 per month baw nag tulok-tulok luha sang iban Pagkatapos ang competition, may nagatag sa akin sa laptop. So immediately, I had a laptop, no? Okay. Second, I opted to stay in the Philippines because I believe there is hope for this country. There is hope because I see ordinary citizens, teachers, nurses, medical doctors, farmers, health professionals, government workers, missionaries, and others giving their best world class and sharing themselves with the poor and the underprivileged. There is hope because I meet young minds each day, young minds like you, young people who are willing to learn and tarnished and ready to be nurtured and molded into decent human beings. There is hope because despite the lack of world class facilities and resources, the Philippines has so many world class individual professionals. 
the presence in our midst of these champions, teachers, leaders, and ordinary people doing extraordinary positive things for a better society shows that we are in a position to create a better Philippines. When your work becomes your mission, your primary concern is giving your best in everything that you are doing. Knowing that you are contributing significantly to your community is reward in itself. Graduates, believe in what you are doing. Believe that you can make a difference. Believing, however, means you keep on improving your skills and maximizing your potentials. In conclusion, I'd like to share with you four principles which has served as my guidepost in my continued pursuit for excellence. I study every day because I want to learn new skills. And I love excellence, not because of excellence per se. I love excellence because I want to give my best service. So here are the four principles which can also guide you as be you become professionals and as you search for meaning in this world. First, love your work. Magpangita ka mo sa ubra, kag mabaton na ka mo, langgaan yung trabaho nyo. If you do not love your work, learn to love your work. If you cannot learn to love your work, then resign. Hindi na para sa imo, no? Okay, so love your work. Second, continue to learn because you were created for a purpose. You cannot give what you do not have. There are many ways to learn through formal schooling, most especially through reading, through listening in seminars. Damo, damo nga paagi, no? Nga mag-learn ka para may mahatag ka pa. Third, believe that you can make a difference. Medyo big ang making a difference, but making a difference is not rocket science. Ang simple definition lang sa uh, making a difference is that kung ano ang ginaubra mo, ginan give mo gid ang best mo, no? Bisan ano ka simple. Kay kung ginahimo mo ina, ang mga tawo bala sa palibot mo, ma masaya, happy. So your presence alone can make other people happy. Then that is making a difference, no? It's not solving the problem of the entire world or of the Philippines, but it is giving your best in everything that you do every day. Hambal ni Mother Teresa of Calcutta, not all of us can do great things, but all of us can do small things with great love. The kabudla intindihon ang making a difference, but let me tell you a very short story. Isa ka adlaw, may bata nga nagalakat sa ano, higad sa dagat, low tide, tama kay init, kasing kalinit. Kapamulo siya sa mga starfish, mga brittle stars, kinabalik siya sa tubig. Nasumalang niya ang isa ka tigulang. Sa ding nagtugulang, ano na no, bramo man? Siling niya ginapamulot ko ng mga starfishes, ginabalik ko sa tubig, eh, tama ka init. Karun ko, hindi ko na pagibalik, mapatay sila. Siling sang tigulang, wa gid na sa ang pulos, ang ginaubra mo, wala na kabuluhan. Pero ang bata, sige, pag pamulot siya, nagpulot siya sa isa ka starfish, ginbalik siya sa tubig. Siling niya, lulo, ang isa nga na ang ginbalik ko, mabuhi na. That is what we meant by making a difference. Your simple ways can give life or inspire others. One at a time, two, three. Kagunda mo pa ma-inspire mo. Tip community na gid ang impact sang imo ang ginoobra. That is making a difference. And fourth, which is the most important of all, recognize that all your talents, skills, and opportunities come only from God, and therefore should only be used for His glory. In the face of so many challenges confronting our nation, you, dear graduates, have a vital role to play. The choices you will take will make a difference to society. Your commitment to serve to the best of your abilities will be a source of hope and strength for our countrymen. Don't let poverty, expectations, or situations such as the, re the recent pandemic paralyze you. Instead, let this be an opportunity for you to be more creative, resourceful, and to use your ingenuity to the fullest. Continue to thrive, to lead, 
and to serve. Carry on the power within you. Go and help build this nation. You can do it, even if you must do it one step at a time, one Filipino at a time. Congratulations at mabuhay kayong lahat. Thank you, Dr. Pio, for your presence and inspiring the WVSU community, especially the class of 2023. Requesting Dr. Pio to please take standard stage and to award the plaque of appreciation to our commencement speaker, we have Dr. Joselito F. Villarus, University President, to be assisted by Dr. Maria Asuncion Christine V. De Quilia, Vice President for Academic Affairs. To award the token, we have Professor Cynthia L. Moriga, University Senior Curriculum Council Advisor, and Mr. John Paul Supapo, University Senior Curriculum Council Chairperson. The plaque reads, West Visaya State University, La Paz, Iloilo City, awards this plaque of appreciation to Dr. Giuseppe E. Bio, commencement speaker, in grateful recognition for imparting her valuable insights, knowledge, and expertise which serve as an inspiration, leaving a lasting impression to the class of 2023, given at University Cultural Center this sixth day of June in the year of our Lord 2023. Signed, Joselito F. Villarus, MD, PhD, FPPS, SUC President 4. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, a round of resounding applause to our commencement speaker for the undergraduate level, Dr. Giuseppe P. Bio, Director, Department of Science and Technology, Science Education Institute.